right, I'm Sable Cleachy here, and I am back, ready to come off the line with a really funny video. And of course, um, I've been kind of looking back at some of my videos. Not even looking back, I've just been thinking about some of my videos that I used to do. And I know that I used to probably elaborate and probably dissect these guys a little more, other than just reading off these questions or just keeping certain questions in mind. So, <clears throat> like I said, when I made my video, like probably a week or so, maybe last month ago, I said that I was losing my touch because I haven't really been putting my input on them or really speaking on certain things. I've just been reading off the questions and just get, getting a catch of their vibe. But, uh, what is this, like a, like a different, um, breed, I would say. <laughs> I want to go right into talking about him, but I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this a, a buck. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this above water too. You know, because I'm a, I'm a Pisces. I can dance in the water and I get wet. So for you, I'm gonna keep it above the water. Okay, so let's just jump right into your questions. Okay, and okay, he asked. Well, first question that was asked: uh, What is it? What about the Raiders and the role he expects to play with the Raiders? Mm. everybody's happy for that opportunity. He's excited to join the Raiders, of course. We all are. I'm excited to actually see this uh, WB slash um, Eric Andre looking character. So, hopefully all that comes together on the field. I mean, I, I can't say I, I'm that excited. I'm excited to see what he do in the organization as far as like with us. But because, you know, watching highlights and previews and all of that other stuff, you know what I mean? That's, you know. But, you know, getting with us, our guys, the vibe and everything makes everything just connect a little bit better. Unless, you know, you get the coaches involved and the coaches start shitting on y'all and then shit like that. Not sorry, let me not go there. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, he's excited about the um the opportunity. He's, he's looking forward to playing football with us. Um. How did he look at the uh, aspect of the uh, signing and re-signing of the players from last year? Because everybody is a bit on, you know, the high level, very young, and everybody ready to put forth, you know what I mean, what they have and to, uh, you know, showcase the talent, not just towards the newer players, but, you know, coaches, fans, everybody. So it's good to see how we bring this together. He also mentioned this opportunity is to, you know, better to build on the leadership that he's having now or the leadership that they're gathering for the Raiders right now. And I think that's good. And he said adding to bringing his toughness, <clears throat> his leadership, and his uh, veteran presence, you know, all of that coming together, hoping that uh, contribute, contribute to the, uh, the moving forward of the mission, of course. <laughs> and he also invites the competitions from his fellow players and you know because like I said it gels like he said it gels together you know it makes better and get us a feel for you know what we can actually put forth because watching yourself stretch and go the limit in the extra amount on your players you know what that person, will, person is capable of when it comes to the opponent we just hope that they come out with it same skill that they exercise on you we want to make sure that they exercise these same skills if not better on the opponent <clears throat> so yeah but we we all had a chance to watch our our guys in in action so you know the competition and like he said with the with the work that's being done now to the offense seeing the guys that's there it should come together even better okay Okay, what about his game that matches up with the offense? And, of course, he mentioned that he's versatile in his role. Uh, he prides himself on learning every position, which is good. That's a plus. <clears throat> um, he executes and trusts to be uh, put anywhere, and that's that's good. With his mind, his mindset and new vision, he should or they should trust him or trust the whole situation to be catapulted in, a, in the right direction. Okay, can his experience be translated to get the younger guys getting into or getting to the next level? And of course, he mentioned being a part of big games and being around uh, vets, <clears throat> you know, and being in a winning culture, you know, kind of get that feel. And now, during, during this build up, during this time of having Jim Brown and you know, all of these people coming together will definitely 
change the games and the way they all together think <clears throat> and how they bring it together, which is good because, like I said, you know, if you admire somebody from another team and you bring that person on, you're going to either show them what you got or they're going to show you what you got or you just submit it by being able to bring those skills together to know that it's going to be better, to, to know that you're going to have that spark. Okay, they asked him what was the meeting like between Gruden and was it his first time. <clears throat> he said that his meeting always took place over the phone, but it gave him an opportunity. Yeah, it gave him an opportunity to get to know Gruden, not just him as a person, but what he also expects in players and what he, <clears throat> what system he's looking forward to follow. And, you know, being able to have that aspect and bring it to the presence to where now their meeting is easier for him to pre pretty much commute it, translate it, and be a part of it. Pretty much he see that, um, that vision. And it is a great organization to be a part of, and he's just excited to be here and ready to just see those vision uh, put into play. <clears throat> Okay, now they refer to a Raiders and Saints game. Um, what did the memories in particular... <clears throat> oh, what in particular did he remember about the game uh, that Carr had? And what is he to expect being thrown to him? All he remembered... <laughs> all he remembered about the game is scoring fast and this, this them being great and... Derek Carr just um, merging into the quarterback that he is now. And, you know, just watching from afar. Everybody watch from afar because we are something that you should look at. And even if somebody picked you up earlier in the game, you know, we follow a lot of players. We remember what they can and <clears throat> remember what they can do and will do. So a lot of times when it comes, you know, full circle, whether we're coming back around, that opportunity is on the table. And that's the blessing. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out with my my half WB Eric Andre looking character. And just give it, this whole team, we're going to give it to God. No, for real. <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let everybody go. And, of course, uh, just a reminder, this uh, presser is from uh, March 26th. Of course, I'm just getting off on the 1st. Of course, I was trying to. Tried to get it off days ago, but that's not here nor there. My favorite word. Can't leave a video without saying that's not here nor there and or okay. Have a great day.